FIFA 22, right around the corner, boys. We are here with another video. Another video. Please hit that like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, right? Chaders, boy, Meta Mike. We are back again, boys. We are back again, man. Please do hit that uh, subscribe button. Leave a like, man. Leave a like, right? Here. So, uh, if I'm a bit hyper right there, just had some grape ties. If you do not know, that is an energy drink. So, as you can see, I am a little bit hyped right there. So, yeah, we're going to get right in with this video. As you can see, lovely desktop background. <laughs> lovely stuff. Please just leave my hair out for this video, boys. Last video. I uh, thought my hair looked good. Yeah, if you go check it out, I need a trim, boys. As you can see, even wore a woody right here. <laughs> it's not looking great, boys. It's not looking great. But yeah, I do need a trim just before maybe 22 drops because the content is going to be lit, boys. It's going to be lit. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to look at the best uh, starter teams, man. The best starter teams that uh, I've obviously have compiled the best starter teams. i done this video um, actually a while back. Uh, obviously, when FIFA 21 dropped, uh, as soon as it dropped, that is actually my highest viewed video. So yeah, hopefully this video does well again. Uh, but yeah, I am limited to players because the full database is not actually out in terms of FIFA right there. So they will still add more cards. But the cards that I have obviously compiled in terms of starter teams still look straight. So we are going to check that out right now. Starting off with the very first team right here, we got a 50k team. Obviously, uh, if you do not know, the prices aren't out yet. Obviously, you guys know the database is not out for the million time if i am saying it sorry but yeah it's not out yet boys so obviously i've compiled uh, a team that for 50k which i think is going to be 50k it does look really really nice man i won't lie we got the likes of golini Giro, uh, junior furpo we got godfrey pro probably the best center back for the price because he's going to be a 77 rated uh, player he's going to get packed a lot in my opinion right there got the likes of romero emerson really really good backline for the price right there why am i saying for the price the price is not out yet but <laughs> i feel like it will be kind of cheap right there uh yeah you got the likes of saul which can play a cdm and billingham as a cdm i'm not too sure why i um actually put marlin as a cdm sorry that's just my bad just you can swap them obviously and then you got the likes of pulisic reina and wolf if i were to play this uh 50k team i'll probably play a 4 and 2 slash 2 because that's literally the only formation i know and i do love it uh, right there so yeah you can play marlin uh, and pulisic maybe strikers cam reina cm saul bellingham and maybe wolf rcm because you need a little bit of an offensive player in that midfield right there but yeah that's a really really solid 50k team what do you guys think leave it in the comments down below so yeah moving over to the 75k team so if i'm speaking a little bit fast right there i am a bit hyper as i said right there but yeah we got the likes of that backline man this is probably going to be the best backline for the price uh, that you are paying i think personally because man you got the likes of like just insane cards you got grimaldo for tongan very similar uh Fla Flacho, Flacho Demos. Uh, you stupid. Not too sure how to say that guy's name. Uh, you got Wilson, Manafa, right? They, I think a lot of people is going to have this back lines because, yeah, they're just OP. You can even put the likes of Pepe in this team because it is obviously Liga Nos right there. You got the likes of Kese, which will be a little bit expensive in my opinion right there. Tonali as your two CDMs. Actually, three CDMs. You can obviously play like a 4-3-3, maybe 4-3-1-2 right there. Uh, we're not too sure what's meta in the game. So maybe starting off, this would be ideal though. You got the likes of Rebic. So yeah, I think it's going to be about 75k. Rafael, Leo, and you got Rafa linking to that uh, right there. So yeah, I mean, it, it's a decent hybrid. I actually am proud of myself right there for making these type of hybrids right there. Obviously, I did get a bit of help from the community because I looked at what they were doing in terms of squads and I obviously compiled the best teams that I think and for the price that you are paying right there. But yeah, that's a 75k team. Looks, looks really good. I think the most expensive one's probably going to be KCA. So yeah. Moving over to the 100k team, in my opinion, man. You got the likes of Mark Kaysen. You got Grimaldo of Tongan Pepe. As I mentioned earlier, you got Manafa. Really, really solid black backline for the... Black line? Back line for the uh, price, man. I think they're going to be uh, more or less... That backline could be a little bit like... Ranging between 30 to 50k, in my opinion. Right there, you got the likes of Emre Chan, which could be expensive... 84 defense, 87 physical. I think it could be 50k. So me actually stating this price, I'm not too sure. So obviously you can, obviously, I think, take him out, put the likes of someone that's uh, in Dortmund. Obviously, you can just do that to make your hybrid right there if you do not have the price. Uh, but you got the likes of uh, Jetson Fernandez, really, really good uh, card right there. And especially for someone that is so uh, low rated and his stats look that ma amazing, looks really good. Got Rafa Bellingham, which we'll see, you will see him a lot, boys, trust. You got Hazard as well. Uh, obviously not the other one, you got this one right there. And uh, yeah, really, really good team, man. 100k team. You got the likes of a 150k team. Now we're moving up the ranks. We are looking at better players overall, man. We're going to start off with the attack. We got Carrasco, Korea and Rafa, man. You can even play it like that in-game. Right there, you can play the three CMs. I wouldn't say Mateus Cunha is a CM, he's more of a camp. So maybe if you want to play like a 4-2-3-1, have Carrasco, Lamb, uh, Ram, Rafa, Striker, Korea, Cunha, Cam, 
two CDMs, uh, Herrera and Fernandez. I think that's amazing, man. I think there's actually, there's another CM. I think it's the Paul, which you could actually, oh, Fudman actually updated this stuff if you hover over, which we can see right there. That's actually so sick. You can see the key stats. Obviously, they don't have all their key stats and skill move slash weak foot. So yeah, we are kind of limited, but I think I'm doing a good job in terms of making the hybrid teams that you want to see right there. So when the full database does come out, I am going to obviously make a lot of teams right there. But yeah, Mateus Cunha, probably the best player for the price that you are uh, spending, man. And just look at that card, boys. Mateus Cunha, man. 85 pace, 78 shootings. Looks like a beast. That is literally Neymar, man. <laughs> you got Grimaldo, obviously the same backline. And uh, yeah, that's mainly what I would put because we are limited to players, as I always said, like 200 times in this video. All right, then we're going to move over to the 200k team. This is literally the best 200k team I've seen and the only one I've seen. It's best because it's from me. <laughs> Let's be honest right here. I am the squad building genius right there, boy. Is <laughs> Oh no. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got Vlashish. I don't know how to say this guy's name. But yeah, you got Grimaldo or uh, the same backland uh, just now you replacing. Obviously, the other right back with Cancelo. Which could ideally be expensive, man. He is 85 pace right there. Uh, yeah, he looks he looks really good though. It looks like probably... So I think a lot of people are going to have him, man. I'm going to be honest right there. They're going to link him to Ronaldo. We already know this. But yeah, you got Ferran Torres, obviously, because you are limited. Right, they got Fernandez. Vinicius, I think, would be... 100k on his own man if not like 75k it just depends because low rated p uh, players do get packed a lot uh so yeah he could be expensive or cheap not too sure right they got Mateus Cunha again Korea the Paul which I was mentioning earlier right there solid solid team and you can play with two CDMs the Paul and Fernandez man I really like the looks of this team I think personally the best team right there I've built hold up yeah I've built wait a minute Of Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Moving over to the very last team, boys. This is the 250k team right there. And uh, yeah, this is a, looks like a beast beast team. And overall, you, you, you can even play it like this in game. Obviously, swap Borella as a CDM, Correa, Ram, uh, Mateus Cunha, Lamb. Two strikers, Martinez and Korea, man. That's a really, really nice hybrid. And the same backline we've seen now the whole time right there. And Renan Lodi, actually, he looks like a beast as well. He's always good in a FIFA, man. I don't know what it is, but yeah, he's just always good. But that's literally it, man. That is the best teams in the start of the game right there. Hopefully, EA can release the full database. I'm not too sure when they're going to do that, but I will obviously make new teams and better teams right there. But yeah, that's what I can provide you right now with. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please do smash that like. Subscribe if you're new, man. And yeah, as you can see, more and more players each coming out right there. I uh, got Simikas. Um, got the likes of Kamara right there. Yeah, so if you obviously do want to check the players that are on Fatburn right there. But yeah, that's been the video. Thank you so much for watching. Watch your lads in the very next video, boys.